Hey everybody, just uh, wanted to give you an update on uh, the kitchen remodel. I uh, wanted to share with you what I had done with the uh, the lighting in the room. Actually, um, it's probably one of the first things that I worked on and I, I did not give you an update on that. So initially, as you can see here, uh, you can see the recessed lights that I put in, but before that was, uh, what was here was just a single uh, dome light was there in the kitchen and uh, you know it, it served the purpose and you know obviously gave light but it was not uh, it was not the best um, in terms of uh, lighting in the kitchen so there was always shadows and dark spots in, in within the kitchen and um, and we wanted to update that obviously with our remodel so the lights that I uh, landed on purchasing was um, some four inch uh, recessed lights they're actually directional lights but i'm not using them as directionals i'm just having a point straight down um, they were a really good buy they were on clearance so i bought up from one store and then went to the other store to get the the remaining ones that i needed um, i actually initially only wanted to have um, a square um, I had nine that I was thinking that I was going to need to do, but then once I started laying it out and determining that I was going to have an upper cabinet here, I wanted to have a light, some light right there to be able to shine so you wouldn't have shadows there. But um, as I was doing that, I decided, well, you know, it'd be nice to have the light go straight all the way across so that you'd have light going into the family room. Um, so that when you actually look at the light from from the family room, you can see that there is uh, a straight line all the way down um, in, in terms of your pathway. Um, and I, I, at first, when I started decide to do it, I was worried that it was not going to be uniform and that I wouldn't have lighting, you know. Uh, all the way for each of those lines, but um, I'm fine with it. I think it looked. I think it turned out well. Um, you don't really need a whole lot of lighting over the kitchenette. I am going to replace that light. Obviously, it's fairly ugly and old and dated. Um, but uh, so uh, whatever we get, we'll, we'll give off enough light for the for the kitchenette. But um, you know, I got all these lined up. I ran my patterns. I had to do some measuring of what the the distance was going to be from uh, from the cabinets. From each of the cabinets and and kind of had to lay that out uh, you know what what it ought to be and how far apart and there's some there's some um, uh, services on the internet that kind of show you you know what what the distance uh, ought to be away from um, from your cabinets and where it should fall on the on the actual countertops how far away from the countertops it ought to be like so that the light shines on there and that you don't have shadows uh, with your head when you're looking down at the cabinet. So I had to measure that all out and created all my, uh, my little X's with pencil uh, and chalk line. Actually ran from that existing power, uh, added a new line uh, from there to this light and then to that light, to that light, to that light. So it ends from here. So it basically does an S pattern. It goes from here to there to there to there all the way across and then back over to here and then it works its way uh, to this light and then I had to kind of do a junction to jump it to there and there so it, it kind of goes here and then it all goes back down to the power over here. Um, the biggest problem that I ran into is when I cut the hole for here, I was very lucky that I did not hit the water line, but there was a water line that was there because the, ba the bathrooms that are upstairs, the master bath is right here, and then the guest bathroom or the kids' bathroom is on this side of, of the, uh, the ceiling. So there's all kinds of plumbing up underneath the ceiling. So uh, I was very fortunate and pretty careful when I did it, but um, I knew that there was stuff there, but I just uh, didn't know how close I was. But... Um, so in any case, I had a, li a line that was right in the middle of that light. And so to, to keep my pattern so that it was nice and pretty, I had to run, make a U-shape of, of the copper piping there just to make it fit. And that was a pain. Um, so there was a lot of work involved trying to get that uh, to look the way it does. Uh, it looks like it's really easy, but it was very difficult. 
um, to make it to make it work out. And then I had to do a lot of patching uh, after I cut all the holes up so that I could get in there and actually um, get that completed. Uh, there were two recessed cans here. There was like some five inch or four inch cans that were here already. And I condensed it down to a single uh, uh, light box right there. And there's going to be a drop down light here. And then there were two uh, six inch cans here and I had to move them so that they were centered on the cabinet. They weren't centered before. They weren't, they were just kind of thrown up there. It wasn't really thought out well when they, when they put those recessed cans in. Um, the problem that I was going to see is that uh, the countertop, the new countertop is going to go to the distance of, it's going to come out to this depth, so it's going to line right, right there. Um, so it's going to come out to that depth. So when I uh, when I was trying to create where I wanted these lights to be, I wanted it to be in the in the middle of this this countertop. I, I ran a plumb bob to figure out where exactly it was going to fall, and then uh, fit those boxes in place. And then I had to move them closer together um, so that they would line up just inside these areas so that where the cooktop will be that will be my lighting and these will be drop these will be drop down lights as well um, that will match this drop down light so they'll all those will all tie in together um, but that will be the overhead lighting for the cooktop and then I'll also have a wire run for under cabinet uh, mount lights and these will be LEDs and this is the uh, the box for uh, the controller for the LED <clears throat> lights um, that I will be mounting um, and then I have it run here so you have wire that goes up this cabinet and it comes out there runs along and then comes back down this cabinet and so it'll be connected right there and then it'll be run all along here and then dead end right there um, so I'll have a control box for the lights there and then I'll also have you can see that there's a control box for the LED lighting right here because I'm also going to have a, an a overhead cabinet here that will have um, some LEDs as well. Um, but I wanted two two locations for those um, for those LED lights to be controlled, so you can control it from either or. Um, so that's that's what I've got um, set up right now. Um, it's not it's not in place, and it's probably one of the last things that I'll. Um, you know, tie together once everything is painted because um, it's not critical to the use of the kitchen. Um, but I wanted all the wiring uh, completed, at least the, the rough uh, wiring. So I need to run power to this light <clears throat> controller right here and I'm going to uh, pull from from this uh, light switch uh, because this is on the same circuit that that will um, run all the lighting. Um, and since it's LED, it's not going to be drawing too many amps anyway. Um, and then I'll also need to um, uh, run an outlet. Uh, and I'll probably put it inside this uh, cabinet. Well, not this cabinet, but the new cabinet. Within the new cabinet, I'll probably put an outlet on the side here um, and, and be able to plug the transformer into place and then run the wire uh, from the transformer, the 12 volt. Um, up into um, into the back of this, um, so I actually have I have actually um, drilled. There's a hole drilled right here for the 12 volt lighting, which will um, will uh, come out right here and go to the to the lights that are underneath. So I'm going to mount the channel right in this area and then have. The, um, a light diffuser in there and then once I have that all done uh, I'll just put it I'm gonna have a, a little cover plate a little piece of quarter inch uh, ply that I'll put up against there so that it'll cover all this up and you won't see any of it so that's the lighting uh, layout that I have right now um, most of it's complete uh, just waiting to you know finish painting and doing a lot of the heavy work of um, you know that's dirty work that we're going to be doing 
before I actually install the the, um, the drop down lights. Um, that'll probably be one of the last things uh, accomplished along with the LED lights that, that uh, I want to install. So um, most of the rough wiring's done and the recessed lights are done. It works really well and it's dimmable so um, you know I can show you what that looks like. Actually I'll show you here this is that's the lights. Um, I don't think that's even fully uh, all the way dim. Oh yeah it is full. But then you can dim it down to very low which it works really good and it's good at night um, but it is very bright um, I bought actually um, it came with um, regular halogen bulbs with the recessed lights and I think that's the reason why they were so inexpensive uh, because everybody was going everybody was going to LED and uh, these were probably one of the last ones that that uh, you could get with the old halogen bulbs and they were like 50 uh, 50 watt bulbs um, and I think the, the the price on the the recessed lights were like uh, $5.99 or $6.99 per per um, recessed light and it came with the bulbs which is a good buy but I didn't really want the the halogen so I went on Amazon and found uh, a package of, of LED bulbs that were kind of a floodlight that gave a, a good um, a good angled spectrum I think it was like a 45 uh, degree of spectrum of light uh, and they only uh, I think it only casts 7 watts because even with 11 uh, 11 lights uh, at 7 watts you're only getting 77 watts right there so um, it was less than what the original uh, dome light was putting out because I had two 60 watt bulbs there so uh, it was it's it negligible the lighting um, circuit now so it, it's great um, so it's it's definitely much more efficient um, so I'm pretty pleased with the way the lights turned out right now um, I'm, I'm excited to see what the drop down lights look like when it's done but uh, just have to wait so in any case this is the end of uh, this update and uh, I'll keep you posted on one other things that I'm doing okay thanks a lot